Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I am ready with my new setup. Uh, I'll make some fine adjustments to this and uh, uh, welcome again uh, to my channel and I'll, uh, I'm posting after about three days I was busy shifting my house and uh, now we are good to go. So without much delay let's uh, look at the problem for the day. It's a very interesting problem from Pathfinder. It's a, uh, from Challenge Your Understanding Kinematics problem. Let me read out the problem. An L is equal to 70 meter long thin tape wound on a spool of radius 10 mm makes a tape roll of outer radius 25 mm. A motor used to wind the tape rotates the spool at constant angular velocity and takes 165 seconds to complete the winding. So uh, this is uh, being rotated with the uh, uh, cons constant angular velocity so its omega is constant and the tape is being wound like this okay and uh, the total length of the tape is uh, 70 meter and uh, inner radius is 10 mm and outer radius is 25 mm so this is uh, 10 mm and that is 25 mm okay that's given and uh, the complete winding takes 165 seconds calculate the length of the tape which has been wound in t is equal to 110 seconds from the beginning of the winding so that's our problem. If you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis right away. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Okay, so what's happening? The spool, the radius is getting, uh, is increasing as the spool keeps on winding. So let's say at some instant, the radius is, let us say, R. And in DT time, let's say the radius increases by some amount DR. Okay, okay. So let the radius of the spool increase by an amount DR in a time DT. And let B be the thickness of the tape. So this tape has very fine thickness, small thickness, uh, uh, maybe of the order of micrometers or something like that. So uh, let's say B is the thickness of the tape. It's not given and it's not required later on. We'll see B will be eliminated. Now the additional cross section of the spool must be equal to the cross sectional area of the amount of tape wound in time DT. So what I mean to say is, see uh, in DT time some additional, uh, uh, the, the cross section has increased by some amount. And the amount of the tape which is wound, which is uh, looking like a circular kind of fashion here, the same tape when it was not wound, it would have looked like a straight line and uh, that straight line would have some cross-sectional area. So like it would look like a rectangle uh, along a straight line. So whatever was the area along the straight line, same must be the area along the curve because the cross-sectional area will not change upon winding, right? So that's what I mean here, okay? So the additional cross section of the spool must equal to the cross sectional area of the amount of tape wound in time dt. And now let uh, the angular velocity be omega. So how much tape is uh, wound, the length wound in time dt is omega r dt. Why? Because the outer radius, the speed will be omega r and in dt time the tape wound is omega r dt. And since the thickness is b, so omega r is the length and thickness is b. So this area that has been wound in the form of the spool now that is omega r dt into b. And this should also be equal to 2 pi r dr. So this gives me a differential equation in uh, time and uh, the radius of the spool, right? So I can now just integrate it, separate the variables. So omega b upon 2 pi integral dt, you take this, cancel this one r is equal to this. So if you take, take a definite integral up to general time t, you get r minus r naught is equal to omega b t upon 2 pi. Okay, So this is one equation I've got. Also, I know that when the uh, complete time is uh, over, so at time is t is equal to capital T, that was 165 seconds, the complete spool is uh, wound and the outer radius becomes capital R. So in the same equation, I can substitute capital R uh, for small r and capital T for small t. And that gives me r minus r naught is equal to omega b capital T upon 2 pi. Or I can say t is r minus r naught into 2 pi upon omega b. Okay, so just rearrangement of this equation. And also dl by dt that is the length being wound per unit time is omega r and r I have found uh, as a function of time here r so r can be written as r naught plus omega t upon omega b t upon 2 pi. So this is your dl by dt so length wound at a general time t I can just uh, take dt over there and integrate this okay. So that's what I have done take uh, multiply this whole thing by dt and uh, integrate it from 0 to capital T. So that should be equal to capital L, right? So that's, uh, so that's, if you do that integration, this is what you get. L is omega into R naught capital T plus 1 by 4 pi B omega capital T square. Similarly, instead of uh, finding the length wound till uh, total time, I could have also integrated it till small t, okay? 
to find the length bound till a general time t. So what will you get instead of capital T here you can just put small t to get the length being bound at a general time. So small l is just uh, same expression just capital T is substituted by small t that's it okay. So this is the length bound at a general time uh, t. Now what you can do you divide the two so that uh, you eliminate omega because omega is not given so you divide the two uh, and uh, still you have one omega over here see. Uh, this omega gets cancelled but you still have b omega upon 4 pi here you don't know b and you don't know omega but uh, don't worry why because uh, we have a solution for this you see uh, we found that r minus r naught uh, is omega b t upon 2 pi so you can just omega b by 2 pi is coming as it is so omega b by 2 pi can be substituted as it is so that's what i have done using that equation or rather b omega by 2 pi uh, from here you can get b omega upon 2 pi is r minus r naught by t. So you just put there uh, and uh, b omega by 2 pi is r minus r naught over capital T okay uh, uh, from this itself. Uh, instead of small r you can put capital R and instead of small t you can get so from this equation equation 3 you get b omega upon 2 pi you can get from this equation right. So that's what I have done in this one I put b omega by 2 pi substituted as r minus r naught by t and this is what you get and if you simplify uh, after that there is some algebraic simplification uh, this is also fine um, just you uh, for finding small l you can just take capital L over there and uh, you if you want you can do a little more simplification to match the answer given at the back but this is also fine this is what you get and then. Uh, you just take the L over there and uh, then rearrange the terms and this is the final answer you get and you can verify easily that this is equal to this I subtracted the 2 and I got 0. So uh, that's my solution to the problem I hope you enjoyed my analysis and if you did enjoy my analysis uh, please uh, uh, give a thumbs up to this video and please uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with them and uh, most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel uh, immediately because that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos for all of you on a regular basis and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you